Hey, how you doing, everybody? This is another episode of The Lies You Tell with Uncle T. Hey, first of all, I always like to thank my subscribers and my new subscribers. Uh, thank you for all your support. And uh, feel free to whenever we doing these type of messages or videos that you don't be afraid to put comments in the comment section. I know a lot of times people say, oh, I liked it. They'll give a like. Um, you know, but what did you like about it? You know, or what do I need to talk more about? I want to know your input um, so that I can uh, create more videos, do more research. Um, and, you know, it's iron sharpening iron. You know, you telling me what you want to hear. I'm telling you what I can, you know, try to research and bring forward. But I appreciate all your support and I really appreciate everybody. Um, but 2000, 2024, we got a lot of stuff coming. As you can see with the videos, they've been rolling out pretty much every day. Um, uh, getting these videos out to you. But one of the things I want to talk about today is that, hey, if you do you have teenagers or do you know someone or a best friend that's being love bombed? Uh, I got girls, I got daughters, even I have sons that are you being love bombed? Do you even know the difference between true love and being love bombed? Because a lot of times that we see people love bombing is a very sudden thing. Whereas, you know, that you just meet someone and they already want to go on trips, travel, all these type things. And they, have, they don't even know you, haven't known you, but for a short period of time. And they already, you already going on trips and all this type things. Or, because true love takes time. It takes a matter of time getting to know each other, uh, feeling comfortable with your partner and things of that nature. <clears throat> And I always like to apply scripture because I always said that the, the Bible is a book of life and it tells you pretty much everything you want to know. In Proverbs 27 and 6, it says, Faithful are the wounds of a friend, profuse are kisses of an enemy. And what it's talking about is that those who really love you, uh, uh, if a man or a woman really love you, uh, they won't allow flatter. Uh, to shower you with gifts um, all of a sudden individual is just showering you with gifts um, showering you want to go on trips showering you want to go this place just smothering you just buying you jewelry just give 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 giving 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 all the time and you know you may have came out of a bad relationship and you might like oh my god this is great. I finally met the one who treats me the way I want to be treated. They do for me. They always shower me with something. They always saying the right thing. It's almost like it's too good to be true. You may be, you may be being love bombed. You may be being gaslighting. You know, and we'll talk about that as well. And uh, also, um, I want to kick off the um, the first thing. What is the 10 phrases that you are being love bombed? Have you ever heard these phrases? These are the top 10 phrases that someone is love bombing you. Number one, I want to spoil you. Any of these 10 by themselves may not sound like love bombing. But when you see two, three, four, five of them together, it makes you say, hmm. And then you look at your relationship, you say, hmm, I want to spoil you. They give you lavish gifts, take you on expensive trips, always want to go on a cruise, always want to go on vacation, always want to travel and uh, adorn you with jewelry in a short amount of time haven't really known you that well but because you know just because you get all these gifts and then later on they'll remind you 
you know, how much they've done for you and the gifts they've given you. So they may throw it up in your face a little later on down the road. They let you know about all the things they've done for you. This is called, I want to spoil you because they may, you may have told them you got out of a bad relationship, things didn't work out and that's all they need. That's all the information they need to love bomb you. Okay. Number two, I've never met someone more beautiful than you. I have never met someone more beautiful than you. You are the best thing they have ever seen or laid their eyeballs on in their lifetime. Okay. They give overwhelming compliments even before they know enough about you to warrant such compliments. They feel almost fake or authentic, you know, to, to you even tell your friends, I, this is just too good to be true. I met this guy at the mall. I met this guy here or I met this girl here. I met this girl here and we just, man, it just seems like we just met and already she's inviting me over. I mean, I'm spending, you know, I met the parents already. Um, we've been going out every night. I mean, we've been doing this. She takes me out uh, and vice versa. I never met someone more beautiful than you. You are so beautiful. Love bombing. Number three, I just want to be with you all the time. You give me so much joy. I just want to be with you all the time. They demand your attention, straight up. They demand all your attention and ignore whatever your schedule, your time, they want all your attention. They could care less about your schedule. They can care less about what you have to do. They want you with them all the time. They'll isolate you from your family and friends and they may get angry if you make plans and spend time with other people. This is what I'm saying here. And I always tell young people, whenever you're a young male and you're dating a young girl and she just can't stand it when you're not around, she's just so clingy. She just on you, just, just, just clingy. And every time I look around, you can't go hang out with the fellas to go shoot basketball. You can't do sports. You can't go to the gym and lift weights. You can't do anything unless she wants to know every little thing. She's got a problem if you're going somewhere with your family. She's got a problem if you're spending time with your family. She wants to isolate you or he wants to isolate you and spend time with her or spend time with him and never spend time with your family or friends. She will, he or she will isolate you from your friends. If you go to the mall, he's going to want to stop that. No, you don't need to go to the mall. You need to spend time with me and we'll go to the mall. You can't have any free time. They just want to be with you all the time. You wake up when you go to work. That's pretty much the only time you're not with them. When you get off work, you are with them. When you are not at work, you either on the phone with them they just want to be with you all the time. They're love bombing you. And the worst love bomb is sex or X-E-S. I will just say that because if we can't say that word on YouTube, I would just use it as the S-X symbol. Okay. The next one, number four. I just check in because I'm worried. Meaning that they need constant reassurance or some type of text or need some type of message 24 seven, you got to check in with them. Okay. On the surface, it seems so romantic. I, I just wanted, I was just worried about you. I was just worried about you. I, you know, you haven't called me for several hours. I mean, I just wanted to make sure you were okay. And for the guy, for a girl who tells a guy that, you know, he feels like, okay, she loves me. <laughs> she loves me. No, she's, she wants to know where you are, what you're doing, who you're with, 
and what time you're going to be back. Okay. And she wants to know what you're doing at all times. That goes for a female as well. Um, for a guy who's checking on a female. Uh, she, he wants to know where you are, who you're talking to, where you're going, when you're going to be home. I just want to know. And you say, why? I just want to know. Because he wants to know every move you make. And a lot of times when people want to know where you are, what you're doing, who you're talking to, a lot of times they're trying to pinpoint where you are because a lot of times they doing dirt as well. Okay. Number five, we're soulmates. I don't believe pretty much in soulmates, me particularly. Me and my wife been married for 32 years. We were not soulmates. Um... We've been together 32 years, so I don't know anything about that per se soulmate. They use this line, um, you know, how good we are together. We, we're soulmates. We should be together. We should never break up, you know, that we should always be together because we're soulmates. Who told you you were soulmates? Who said that? You know, who told you if I break up with you and leave you, I can't get anybody else that I could care about? Who said that? You know, that's something they said, you know, and you and you think about it because we're soulmates. We we always should be together. Who said that? You know, if I leave you and we're no longer together, trust me, I will meet someone else and fall in love. So don't let people love bomb you and say you soulmates and you think you can't get anyone else stop that number six when we're married or when we have kids there's another one we've already got you on lockdown we're putting you on lockdown and when we get married we will have kids they will put pressure and rushing you to make big plans for the future and when you've only known them for a short period of time, we need to get married. We need to have kids. We need to move out together. We need to get a place together. We need to do this. We need to do that. Why are we rushing? Why are we rushing? Why are you trying to lock me down? Why are you trying to put me on lockdown? Okay. All of a sudden, we ain't even known each other three years. We ain't even known each other two years. And already you got us having kids. You've got us being married. You've got us having our own house together. You've got everything already locked down. You got these big plans for a wedding. We ain't even known each other three years yet. Love bombing. Number seven. When I'm with you, I can't help myself. Oh my God. If you're talking about blowing somebody's head up, if somebody already got the big head, they really going to have the big head now. When you say, oh, when I'm with you, oh, my God, I can't help myself. I just lose myself when I'm with you. Really? And when you tell them to slow down, look, OK, I know that you're in love with me. I know we have a great time together, you know, and I understand that. But let's just slow it down. Just slow it down. There's nothing wrong with just slowing it down. Okay, you love me. I love you. We ain't got to rush to the justice of the peace today. We ain't got to have kids next week. We, we don't have to do that. We can just chill. We still young. We, we chill. Let's just chill. Okay? You got to read. It, it, they, they don't respect your boundaries. Even when you say no. I don't want to do that right now. They can't respect that. They don't give you no respect. They keep on and on and on until they chisel at you, chisel at you and chisel at you until sooner or later you start thinking, uh, uh, maybe we should. Maybe we should. OK. Love bomb. Number eight. Our love makes me do crazy things. Really? If you do crazy things, you're going to jail, okay? If you flatten my tires on my car, you're going to jail. 
you 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 take a a, a, a key and key up my car spray paint my vehicle because we're not together anymore you're going to jail okay so don't let that love make you do crazy things okay they get set off they get defensive or abusive if criticized or challenged if you challenge them they start mouthing off and get real abusive they may become violent if they don't get their way i'm sorry and they you may use controlling gestures as gaslighting okay so all this crap about oh our love make me do you make me do stupid stuff you make me do crazy stuff no you can't control yourself you need to control yourself and you um need to think before you do things and you're out of control and you're immature okay you're immature number nine my ex was a psycho the guy i used to be with he's a psycho the girl i used to be with she's a psycho they refuse to take responsibility or blame for anything that they did in the previous relationships the previous relationships and don't get me wrong there are some people who really was the good guy there were some good girls who got a hold of, got it with a bad guy good guy got a hold of a terrible girl things turn out really bad okay so sometimes there is the ex might have been a psycho but you chose him okay Try not to make that same choice the second time. Try to find someone different than the ex, psycho, okay? Because these people want to get you off of them. They want you to focus on the ex. They don't want you to see where they are not where they need to be. They want, they don't want you to see their, uh, their, uh, was a frailties or they don't want you to see who they really are but uh, I got to keep you deferred somewhere else so that you won't be looking at me because when you start talking about your ex was a psycho and this and that a lot of times person's gonna want to talk about the ex then what were they doing what would they what did you do you know they don't want to go into those conversations okay number 10 So what if I text the other girl? What about the trip I took you on? They want to use tit for tat to justify their behavior. Hmm. Really? So what if I text the other girl? Okay. I text this other female. Why are you tripping? I mean, I took you, I took, I bought you a gold chain last week. I took you shopping last week. Why are you tripping? Love bombing is what they do. They love bomb. They shower you with gifts, compliments, even when you know you don't even deserve it. But once they give you all these things, then they go start the abusive cycle. They start the abuse. Once they start, once they got you to trust them, once you put trust into a person who loves bomb, they will abuse you. Okay. They will say things and do things to abuse you. And it goes in a cycle to where you start second guessing yourself. You start second guessing yourself and what relationship you're in. Okay. And you start losing your mind. And then once they see you're losing your mind and you start talking about, I don't think I want to be together no more. Then it starts all over. They start showering you with gifts again. And they talk about how much they love you, how beautiful you are. And you're the best thing that ever happened to them. You are just a bum diggity. You are better than sliced bread and peanut butter and jelly. Okay? Don't be love bummed. But hey, I've been out here in this game even before Uncle T was Uncle T. And got deep in the word of God. Hey, Uncle T, no, I done been all around the planet. Served in in the military, been all over the place. And I seen players from everywhere. So I know how a player play. Females and males, okay? So I'm just letting you know. 
<laughs> don't get love bombed because if you get love bombed, you may get into something you wish you had never got into. And this is Uncle T. I love you with the joy of the Lord. Until next time, my friends, I will talk to you later.